on our way now into London proper to go and do the uh, tour around the Olympic Stadium. Rich has got a new recruit on board, teaching him a little bit of um, lock management. So people love it, it all helps. of Victoria Park we were moored right across there and around the corner a little bit the mooring that we were on was fine but very built up and noisy and there's loads of spaces all along this beautiful bit here I guess people just moor up where they're close to work or need to be but 
what a fantastic place to have your boat moored here if you got to be in London. I know where I'd rather be. the Lee navigation takes you up to Bishop Storford. We're going to go and do a loop around the Olympic Park. That is the old Olympic Stadium which is now West Ham's football ground. <laughs> this is old Ford Lock. And uh, Fran's got a bit of a turn to do just there. It should be fun. So this is the first automated lock we've been on since the Thames because it, technically we are on a river now. Park Fran in, when you were growing up in the 70s. Yeah, two pound in the chicken run. Two pound in the chicken run and get to see the likes of who would be playing uh, in the 60s, 70s. Jeff Astor, no, he was West uh, Brom, wasn't he? Yeah, Trevor Brooking. Lovely knees, Trevor Brooking. Apparently he had <laughs> lovely knees. Oh, that's good. I did a blood test on him once. Did you? Yeah. What? Just because you could? No, he came into the hospital for a blood test, so his blood. Yeah. Well, you heard it That's here first, folks. <laughs> and not only that, I've got Derek Nimmo's autograph once. <laughs> yeah. In D.E.R. television rental shop. <laughs> We're struggling now, aren't we? I've been getting my uh, Telly Savalas. <laughs> my Telly Savalas uh, story soon.
coming on to Bow Back River, which has obviously been turned into canal. I think in 1928, there was a big flood of these waters. Um, up until then, if you, if you came through on boats at low tide, it was often just mud and you couldn't get through. And at high tide, you run the risk of the river flooding um, going over the sides of it. So they, after the big floods in 1928, they put the locks on. Uh, we're approaching City Mill Lock, I think, which we can't go through. You have to book a week ahead. And that goes on to Tidal River. But this has all been obviously turned into good canal now. So we're going to turn off of the new bit, which has been around the Olympic Stadium. And uh, we're heading down to Limehouse Basin now. But this area was all wharfs and factories. I don't know, I don't think these are old, but uh, it's this is new build, but obviously done in the style, I guess, to commemorate the past. But it would have been factories all along here, um, warehouses mainly for making gin and gunpowder, apparently. Um, which is why the boats needed such good access to it. Limehouse Basin now with its very swish apartments just to think this was all just wharf and docks not so long ago really it's like entering a port it's huge it's lovely isn't it should we swap our boat for one of those uh, or do you think all we'd get is the bathroom no I don't want one. You can't go <laughs> up north in one of those. I wouldn't want it. Where am I going? Huh? Uh, just just keep going around to the right, I think, if you can. There's no sign, is there? This is what we've been a bit worried about coming in here because often there are no signs for where you're supposed to be going. As we found before. Follow our noses. But the Thames is to the left, so just keep going to the right. That's the Thames. Long to the tidal Thames, just on the left there. So this is the basin itself. We can get moorings here, but I think it's about £28 a night. And that's the lock going through onto the Thames proper. And if you watched if any of you watch Minimalist channel on YouTube, uh, you will see them going through there onto the tidal Thames. Not something I'm quite interested in doing. <laughs> Bobbing up and down on the Thames.
So we're in the uh, first lock after Limehouse Basin and joined by a couple of friends. Just pulling away from being double mauled up. And Fran's son Joe, the musicians, come to join us. Years and years of horses and ropes just ground these grooves out into the top stone. Here we are again at Camden Lock on our way back out of London. down to let the trip boat go past. A really tight bend coming into Regent's Park area, past the zoo again. Since we came through here last week, most of the trees are now looking bare. It's a very cold day today, it's be about three or four degrees. In the, uh, with the wind chill factor, it's really cold. So we've um, just trying to get out of London now as quick as we can. We've uh, done our bit here. So we've got 18 miles from today 
beginning of today to do, so we'll just take it over two or three days and uh, get to Ballsbridge Junction of the Grand Union Canal uh, for Wednesday. It's now Monday. So yeah, looking forward to pastures new.